And uh, the pattern we're going to be doing today is the emerald shad pattern as tagged on my website, which check it out, www.greencountrybaits.com. Thanks for checking back in uh, Emerald Shad Pattern today. So you're, you're gonna wanna stay throughout this entire video because we're gonna not only get into uh, the painting of the Emerald Shad, but I'm gonna show you all the colors used to get this uh, really, really, uh, it's a great uh, shad pattern to duplicate uh, your thread fin shad. Uh, we're gonna show you all the colors. We're gonna show you how, uh, some techniques that we're gonna use for scaling today may be a little bit different than done in some other videos uh shad dots and if time allows we may even get into the clear cut process so uh, make sure you stay tuned and, and please hit the like button uh and subscribe hit the bell so that you get all the notifications anyway with that being said we're going to go spray some paint okay before we start spraying paint i just want to give you give you viewers uh, some details on what paints we're using here uh, the lures have already been base coated in wicked white, um, two coats, and dried thoroughly. Uh, then next up, we're going to go down with a black magenta. Uh, black magenta is a darker color. It's got a little bit of a purple, hue, purplish hue to it. It's a little lighter, and I'll show you in detail why we're going to use that uh, as our next base coat. Uh, then we'll come back with our wicked white, uh, put our scales in. Uh, we'll follow that up with a detail by Wicked, detail blue-green. Uh, then over the entire bait, we're going to do a hot rod sparkle blue. And to follow that up, we're going to do some gold highlights and a gold stripe down this bait. And that will be our Wicked, or not our Wicked, our Emerald Shad pattern. So um, without further ado, next up, when we get this stuff moved out of the way, I kind of keep them in order. Got my airbrush loaded with um, the magenta black. And what we're doing is we're just coming just above the, the lateral line on this particular bait or halfway down a bait. And we're going to darken that white up. Not extremely dark, but. A little darker on the top than on the sides. And what this is going to do for us is the next thing we're going to do is we're going to scale in. Uh, I've got a little technique that's uh, for holding this bait. Put a Q-tip behind it. And we're going to go back over the top of that with our Wicked White and our scale mesh. Again, I like using these hoops with a bath loofah or whatever they're called um, that's tightened to the particular shape of scales that I like for this particular bait. And we're gonna go back over this bait with white. What that's going to do is obviously it's going to leave darker scale lines at the top half of that bait, okay? And that's the purpose. Then we'll lay in our, our colors that we want on the side. Press pretty firmly against the bait. Again, make sure your painter dry is dry. Shooting that white at about a little over 40 PSI working pounds. So, Okay, so we'll do a quick heat set on this. 
Uh, and again, that just gives us some depth to those scales by putting that darker magenta underneath it. Okay, and then we'll move on to the next. Okay, again, for our next color, we're going to go with a blue-green. It's a detail color, fairly transparent. And we're just going to lay that over real lightly into our, our scales and let that uh, fall down uh, not much below, not much lower than the midline or the lateral line of this particular bait. So, again, reduce pressure to around 20. Just going to lightly... Cover that bait, let it fall down the sides. <clears throat> Just like that. On this bait, I'm going to show you a little bit different technique. <clears throat> Pretty much the same thing, but you can use your popsicle, you can use a finger uh, if you don't want real solid lines. But uh, uh, wherever you're going to put your shad dot, a lot of times I'll just use my finger. I'll show you the effect we're going to get. And just to smooth that out. We want to do the same thing on the other side. Pretty close, not great. Jointed baits, I want to get it a little bit inside there. Again, you're just going lightly so that you can still see the scales, still see the darkness and the lines beneath the white scales that we added on. A little bit on that tail. I like to darken the top up a little bit and let that paint fall down the sides just a little bit just to smooth it out. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, and I forgot to show this in the beginning of the video, I like the gloss back black on this particular uh, pattern. This is 4258 gloss black. Do not reduce. This is very thin uh, black paint, okay? So again, we're just going to go over the top of the bait and let that fall down the sides just a little bit. We're going to get around her eye just a little bit, the top half. We don't want to cover up our scales. Just a little spritz far off, just darken that green blue up just a little bit. Okay, and you would do the same thing on this bait. Okay, so next up we got um, Jacardi Metallic True Gold. Any kind of pearl gold would work. Um, I just, I like it, it's pretty thin. And again, now just around this cheek area, I'd like to have a little more scale detail here, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply my netting and do some highlights. Real light, real light pressure. Just a get a little bit more of that scaling on the top. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, just on the top of that gill plate and the top of the eye.
Yep, just like that. Perfect. <clears throat> okay, so next up we're going to do our stripe. And there's a lot of different masking methods that can be used to get your stripe. Um, again, we can use a detail line like this and just watch our, our, our top of our bait. We can cut one. I'll use a couple of different methods here. If you want a super clean line on, on both the top and the bottom, uh, we'll do that one next. Mainly going to be spraying on the popsicle stick here. About screwed up. About had black. Some gold highlights there. I'm not trying to get that real dark. I'm not even sure if the camera's picking that up, but you'll be able to see it. Okay, let's do the other side and we'll move on. We're nearly finished with this bait other than our hot rod, which really brings it out. Okay, for this second method, I'll just show you. I just took a piece of stencil plastic, uh, basically anything. You could be cardboard, uh, cut out your line width. As, uh, however, if you want it larger or smaller, kind of like this is, and we would shoot it from this direction. Um, and with this, like we done it, we don't. I'm not going to put the gold in there. We're going to start the gold after after that and continue it down the side so this will just give you clean lines from start to finish just like that make sure you Clean that off the back of that. Make sure it doesn't get on your bait. So we'll start just behind. There we are. Lay in our gold face. Okay, so there we go. We've got a couple different things left. One, we're going to uh, completely cover this bait with a hot rod sparkle blue. Uh, but first, we're going to add our shad dots. We're just going to dust the entire bait, starting with the belly. said you can't really see it right here once that clear coat is applied it will really stand out we'll 
heat set that and we'll see what we think. Real, real fine sparkle. I don't know if I can get that on camera, but as you turn that bait in the light, really, really nice. more difficult to spray not reduced even at 40 psi so that's going to give us a great depth detail really sparkle it up once the clear coats applied uh, this bait will have a great shine to it great sparkle so that's pretty much it for the video. Looks like we've been running about seven minutes here once we started spraying paint. So uh, hopefully we'll cut that down and this will be something for you guys out there, a uh, good educational video that, uh, that you can use. And uh, you're more than welcome to go with these patterns, add your own detail to it, uh, go with your own colors. Uh, just showing you a little bit of depth uh, and how we do a, a different scales on this one so that we can get the black lines uh, uh, that's really what we were trying to bring out in this video one tip put a darker color down overspray it again with white lay in your transparent colors not to cover up your scales and you can get very dark lines between each scale rather than have to paint individual scales with a white background so hope you enjoyed the video if you did please hit that Thumbs up button down there at the bottom, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification so that you'll be uh, sure to get notified when the next video comes out. So again, thank you for checking out uh, Green Country Custom Baits. Uh, we'll see you at the next video.